tell us about Sharp's Rifles. Okay, Sharp is a Napoleonic War miniseries that was uh, based on books by Bernard Cornwall. And uh, they were produced in the 90s in England for ITV. <clears throat> and uh, it's basically about a man who's, through his bravery and bullheadedness, rises through the ranks from private to all the way to almost general. Ridiculous, really, it never happened. And uh, he goes through the war with a sidekick called Harper, Irishman, and a selection of dudes who all have special skills called the Chosen Men. And I played Harris, one of the Chosen Men who was uh, famed for his, uh, his, his knowledge. He could translate, he was clever. They're great, really, because of Bernard's novels. I mean, I'm okay. Uh, you said Napoleonics, and I, I, a lot of people out there, a lot of their introduction to war game has been in Napoleonics, and I'll tell you, so that's definitely going to pique my interest right there. They're pretty much uh, historically accurate. I mean, there are a couple of anomalies, and uh, Bernard's a great uh, teacher of history, so you've got that, you've got the Napoleonic costumes, but you've also got this timeless quality to, to, the, to the guys. They're, you know, he's fighting against uh, 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 posh officers because he's a working class. He's fighting against his own men because he's an officer raised from the ranks and his own men resent it. So you've got more than just a Napoleonic historic thing going on. Tell me about uh, the Harris Diaries. So yeah, so we went, we filmed in the, in the newly broken up Soviet Union. It was amazing enough going in there, amazing enough being in a fantastic TV show with, with great actors. But when we got there, it was, uh, it was hell. My character in, in the show is based on a real rifleman who wasn't learned, he didn't write and read, but he recalled his stories of the Peninsula War. Someone wrote it down and it became the leading text of a working class soldier in that era. So when I got the job, I got this book, read it and thought, hmm, hmm, uh, maybe I'll be the new Harris. So I decided to uh, write a diary which actually expired after two days because it was so crazy what was going on. Uh, um, I did a photo journal, and on, latterly on the third year, I started doing a video journal diary uh, log. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what I was doing. I just set the camera up and just filmed whatever I was involved in. Show finished in 1996. I had to work for two years in the depths of despair. The show suddenly starts getting legs around the world. I'm getting letters from America, Japan, Germany. I was like, whoa, this is signing these expensive letters and posters and sending them away. Then I was invited to a little living history uh, gig where I would sign photos provided by a TV company. And then it suddenly dawned on me, wait a second, I have a treasure trove of images and material from Sharp that people would love. So it's kind of like a documentary. It's a behind-the-scenes documentary, sequentially shot. So it's episode one, it goes through all the way to nine. It doesn't jump around. It doesn't go along episode nine's, you know, Sharp's Rifle, Sharp's Eagle, la, la, la. But it just goes along, it goes along following me. I mean, it's totally through the prism of a chosen man. It's a true account of what happened on Sharp through my eyes. Wow, so if, yeah. you're, if you're a Sharp fan, this is something you got to own. This is straight in there, right up in your face, right in the dirt and the grime and the crying and the elation and it's all there close up and since I have, uh, since I had a desire to become the new Harris with an overview of Sharp, I made sure I remembered all these things all the way along. So if people like that kind of thing, you're in. My website is rifemanharris.co.uk.